Guyana's Chief Justice Roxanne George has ruled in favor of Rams Logistics Guyana in its case against Guyana's Minister of Natural Resources and the Local Content Secretariat. The company had sought judicial review after the company was denied a local content certificate by the Secretariat in June. The company argued that the Minister and Local Content Secretariat unlawfully refused to grant them the certificate. In a ruling today, the Chief Justice agreed with Rams's argument as she noted the first respondent, the Minister, has and had no authority under the Local Content Act to refuse the application. As a result of the ruling, Rams Logistics Guyana will receive its Local Content Certificate on Monday. Rams Logistics CEO Sean Rampasad says the decision was a victory for all companies with investment plans for Guyana. He adds, Rams is committed to working with Guyana's government to achieve their vision for the South American state. Anson McCall has announced increased revenues over the nine-month period ended September 30, 2022, compared to last year's performance for the same period. The group's revenue has increased by $581 million to $4.716 billion compared to the $4.135 billion in 2021 and total assets grew to $17.57 billion compared to the $17.043 billion in 2021. Anza McCall Chairman A. Norman Sabga notes that with the exception of banking and insurance, all major business segments continue to show improvements over last year. He notes the group is also looking forward to further improvements as Anza Bank's transformative digital commercial model is to be launched before the end of the year and regulatory approval was recently granted for the acquisition of Callfire by Tattle, which is expected to be finalized by early 2023. Days after announcing its Sharflare property is up for sale, Unilever Caribbean has announced a profit after tax of $13.1 million for the third quarter of 2022. The company had recorded losses in the first two quarters of the year, which it had attributed mainly to payouts required following the shutdown of its manufacturing and production operations in Trinidad and the retrenchment of over 100 workers. Peter Christopher, CNT3 Business Watch.